Hey, what's up fellow farmers, and welcome to a tutorial on how to change the prices of your fruits in Farming Simulator 17. Uh, specifically, I'm talking about mod maps. Uh, the first thing you want to do, you want to go to your documents folder, and you want to go to My Games, Farming Simulator 2017, and then you want to go to Mods. And here you'll find all of your mods, you know, that you've had downloaded. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. You've done it a million times over. Um, but with this, you want to look for whatever mod map that you want to edit uh, for this instance. I have already edited uh, Cobra Park Farm. Uh, so I'm just going to go in and show you what I did to do this. You double click it. Uh, okay, you're going to bring up uh, probably WinRAR. Almost everybody uses WinRAR. Um, then you want to go to Maps inside the actual zip file. Don't extract anything, don't take anything out, you can edit this right within the file. Then you want to go to, uh, it'll either be named Map01, but in this case Bullet Bill has changed the name to cpf.xml. Uh, but you'll actually look for Map01.xml. So you'll double click this, and then if you have the Notepad++ installed, it'll automatically bring it up. So now what you're going to look for, you're going to hit Control F, and you're going to look for Price. This is going to bring up all of the prices uh, that there are inside the game. Uh, the game has the base values, and what this does is it sets a price scale. Uh, see, like the this is an actual. Uh, tip trigger. This is just for your storage. And this is, uh, I believe, at the Chantry Farm. So you're going to get a sale price of 1. So it is equal to whatever the base game is times 1. So you're going to get base values. And you go through for each individual one. Um, like, uh, we'll look right up here for tip triggers. This is your silo. You're not going to get any price from that. So whenever you tip it, you won't get anything whatsoever because it'll be whatever base value times zero equals zero. That way you're not actually getting money whenever you put it into storage. Uh, VGA, what I, I'm kind of cheaty on this. I go back to the Farming, farming Simulator 2015 values of silage. I put it times five, the base value. That's close to what you get with 2015 since they nerfed it in 2017. You can also change any of these numbers. Uh, like I said, I put this at five. So you, what you're gonna look for, you're gonna look for fill type, silage, price scale, equals, and inside the quotes, if I wanted this to be base value at uh, 2017 values, I would just put a times one. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna take it back to uh, FS15 values. I'm gonna put that times five. You go through here and then you'll see the BGA bunker silo. These are just tip triggers. So these don't have sale prices. This is just where you're going to tip it in. This is the actual bunker silo itself. Uh, you've got your selling points. And, and I don't believe <clears throat> some, not all uh, map makers will put this in. But I've, I haven't really dug around a lot of XML files. Uh, but you'll have your selling points right here. Like I said, this is for your windrow storage. Here's for the uh, biomass heating plant. Uh, fill type wood chips price scale equals 5. That's back to FS15 values. Then if you want to change like your wheat, barley, rape, sunflower, soybeans, maize, potatoes, and sugar beets, these are all down through here. And if you have a map that has like, I don't know, 20 sell points, you'll have to go through and manually edit each individual one of these. So I've set these at 2.5, so I'm getting 150% value. Whatever it is, it's going to be times 150%, which equals 2.5. So it's going to take base value times 2.5. If wheat sells for 1,000 uh, per 1,000 liters, uh, the final value will be 2,500 per 1,000 liters. So once you do that, since I've already uh, edited this, you're going to click Save. It will save it. You can close this out, and then you'll go back to your RAR file, and it says file cpf.xml or map01.xml was modified. Do you want to update it in the archive? Yes. What that'll do, that'll save it. It's automatically saved it. You can close this out, start your game, 
and then you will have those edited values. Um, now, if you go into game, uh, you might get where it says you'll need to update Coldborough Park Farm. Don't do that, because what it's doing is it's registering the, the different values and the different file sizes, and it will take it back to default values. That's if you use the um, in-game mod downloaded. But you can do this with um, any map. Let me see if I can find another uh, mod map here real quick. Change this by size. Here we go. I have one uh, storage. We'll go to get this dialog box out of the way. Maps. And I cannot find this XML. Here we are. Map01.xml. I'm going to search for price. And that's just a quick price. You know, it's going to give you where all your prices are at. So I'm going to just going to scroll up and I'm going to find all the selling points. So selling points has all my values right here. And this is a multi fruit map. And you can change these values to anything you want. Uh, since I will just go ahead, I'll put this at 2 for wheat. I will save it. Close this out. It's going to automatically update it. Yes. This was a pretty big XML file. Depending on the size of the XML file, it might take a little bit longer. Once that gets done updating, you should be good to go play on your map. Like I said, if you've downloaded one through the in-game mod manager and you edit it afterwards, whenever you start the game again, it's going to tell you to update that map. If you want to play on your edited values, don't update that map. All right, that's it, guys. I uh, hope this was informative. This finally finished. I uh, hope you got something out of this. Uh, if you want to play on the old style uh, silage prices like I do so when they nerfed it they nerfed it quite a bit and it was a pretty hard nerf so like I said if you guys want to play on that uh, I hope this helped you out and I'll see you guys on the next one